Hi, I'm Amory Cool, a CVT engineer at Polaris Industries, and I'm here with Sam of MBL USA, a Polaris OE belt supplier. Sam, I get a lot of questions, and in the forums, there's a lot of information about heavy duty belts that claim to be way better than our OE belts. Can you tell me why the OE belt is better than these heavy duty belts? Absolutely, and like you said, those are just claims, you know. So, you know, we looked at some aftermarket belts and we did a lot of testing to kind of see where we stacked up. Uh, one of the most important things we saw was our adhesion properties. So these heavy duty parts are probably uh, referring to the cord that they put in there. But if you, you can put the strongest cord in there, but if your adhesion properties aren't good, that belt's not gonna, gonna stick together. So what we did is we took a belt and we cut on the cord line and we were able to pull that apart and measure how much force was needed to go ahead and pull that apart. And when you look at the OEM belt with 66 kilonewtons to go ahead and pull that apart. The next closest, 20 less kilonewtons. And then when you get down further, not even half of the strength is needed to pull that apart. So what does that mean for me or our customer? When you're out there in sand dunes, going up a hot hill, or if you're towing heavy loads with your Ranger, what does adhesion really do for me? Yeah, so you know, when things get hot and you really need that belt to perform, uh, MBL has a patented cord process that keeps the cord adhered to the rubber. Uh, that's a big reason that you're gonna see this number. And, and when you need your top performance and that's really hot in there, our belt is gonna stick together and keep you moving on the trail. These aftermarket belts are gonna fail you every time. Sure, so you're only really as strong as your weakest link. Exactly, in there. exactly. So how much longer are we seeing MBL and OE Polaris belts lasting versus some of the competitive offerings? Well, just as an example, you know, right here, we, we did two sim the exact same test on an aftermarket belt and then the OE belt. And what we saw, we had a goal of 144 hours. The MBL belt made it 144 hours. The aftermarket belt only lasted four hours. Wow. The, and then also on that, the, the uh, temperatures of the aftermarket belt reached 302 degrees, while the OE belt only reached 257. Okay. So as you know, heat is very important, and keeping that heat down is, is yeah, vital. Yeah, heat kills. Yes, exactly. What about consistency of our belts versus some of those other offerings? That is a terrific question. So we actually, just as an example, looked at angle. So just off the shelf belt, no use to the angle all the way around the belt. Yeah. You know, what's the difference? So on the OEM belt, the most we could see different is 0 0.3 degrees different all the way around the belt. On the aftermarket belt, it was a two and a half degree difference just wow. from side to side. So what that means is when you're running, uh, break-in is very important, as you know. Absolutely. So it's going to take a long time to go ahead and break that belt in, and you're probably never going to actually see that, which means you're going to be, you're never going to reach your max RPMs, uh, you're going to be wearing on your clutching, and then eventually that belt is going to prematurely fail. If you'd like any additional information, please go to Polaris.com and learn more about Polaris engineered parts and accessories.